Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super quick how-to video for you guys and this one is going to be how to hang a mezuzah. So someone in the comments asked me about this so I thought, yeah, let me just show you guys how in a quick video. The mezuzahs are super simple and easy to hang up and they look beautiful in your home. So I'm gonna show you guys how I hang up this mezuzah on my son's bedroom door and after that I'm gonna give you just like a quick tour and show you some of the other mezuzahs in my home just because, I don't know, they're really beautiful and special to me. I was also, by the way, thinking of doing like a Jewish home tour kind of thing in another video. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's get to it. First, I'm going to show you guys how to hang it up and what prayers to say, and then I'll just talk to you guys a little bit about what the mezuzah actually is. So all you're going to need for this is your actual mezuzah, which you can buy online, buy at a Judaica store, anything like that. And inside there should be a scroll, which is called a cloth. Um, for it to be kosher, it's supposed to be handwritten. And I would show it to you guys, but it's actually glued in, or not glued, but it's like sealed inside there, so I can't take it out. But um, yeah, so you need the cloth, the mezuzah, nails, and a hammer. Got hammer in the evening. All over this land. Hammer, and this is what you're going to do. You're gonna look at the right side of your doorpost as you come in the room, and you're gonna pick a spot about right here, which is two thirds way of the way up. It should be at about like a little above eye level, so I'm about like five foot tall, so I'm gonna put it like right here. Okay, so now that I've marked the spot on the wall where I'm gonna hang up the mezuzah, I'm just going to say the prayer. So the prayer for hanging up a mezuzah is said before you actually nail it into the wall, and it's um, a very simple prayer. It starts the way all Jewish prayers begin, like Baruch Tav Mai, and the only special part for the mezuzah is just two words, Lik Boa Mezuzah. That simple. I'm just gonna say the prayer and then I'll hang it up on the wall. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melch Alam Asher Kitchanu V'mitzvotav Etzivanu Lik Boa Mezuzah. So that's it, the mezuzah is all hung up. If you guys notice, I hung it with um, the top part facing in towards the room. I'll show you guys what it looks like, like that. So it's at the top third of the door post on the right hand side as you come in and then it's slanted towards the inside of the room at the top. So that is how you hang up the mezuzah. And if you guys are interested to learn more, I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about it. Basically, Jewish people um, put up mezuzahs on the doorpost of all the rooms in their homes, all the bedrooms, any room that has like a full doorpost like that. And inside the mezuzah, there's a scroll, like I said, called the cloth. And on it is written two prayers, the Shema and the Vahavta, which come from the Torah. And those are two of like the biggest, most important prayers of Judaism. They talk about um, loving God, teaching your children to love God, and um, to remember these words and put them on the doorpost of your house, which is how the tradition of the mezuzah came to be. And mezuzahs today are so beautiful. There's all different kinds that you can get. So I just thought I would show you guys a few of the ones that we have in our home, just in case you're like looking for some art inspiration. So the mezuzah on the doorpost of my son room is this Gary Rosenthal one that me and my husband actually made for him in Gary Rosenthal's shop. Um, there's all different types of like broken recycled colored glass there so we just picked blue because that's the sort of color scheme in his nursery and um, chose the pieces and then um, Gary's artist just sort of like put it together for you and it's on this like copper piece of metal below it so yeah it's just a really beautiful one that I love and then just up the stairs from my son's room is our bedroom and and there's another Gary Rosenthal mezuzah here this one has um, broken glass from our wedding this was the glass that my husband smashed um, at the ceremony. Uh, if you guys don't know about that, it's supposed to happen. and <laughs> It wasn't an accident. Um, so when he broke the glass, we saved the little pieces for this mezuzah, and yeah, it hangs on our bedroom door. Then this is the mezuzah for our playroom. By the way, I have a playroom tour. I'll link that below. It has my son's name. This was actually given to us by a family friend whose um, son Max is all grown up now. So um, we got his old mezuzah, but I think it's so cute. My son also love ca loves cars and um, 
If you see the his playroom tour video, cars is sort of the theme of this nursery, so of this playroom, so I thought it actually worked really perfectly. Oh, and by the way, a lot of mezuzahs will have the shin on them. That stands for Shaddai, which is a name for God, so that's really common on mezuzahs. On the guest room in our home, we have this mezuzah, which is just this beautiful painted like ceramic with purple and green on it. I love that one, and um, we have purple decor in this room, so it works out nicely. Then on the back door of our home, we have this one, which is like a metal one with a shin. It's very like modern and cool looking. Okay guys, so that's it for my how to hang up a mezuzah video. I hope you liked it and found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos about Jewish home, Jewish life, etc. I'll see you next time. Bye!